Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the tint effect to color your footage. So I have this footage on the timeline right now, and you can find the tint effect in your effects panel under the video effects section, and you should find it in the color correction section. So it should be tint. Now instead of dragging this effect directly onto my clip, I'm actually going to add it to an adjustment layer just for more flexibility. So I'm going to make sure my project bin is highlighted and then go to File, New, Adjustment Layer. And then I should see that adjustment layer pop up in the Project Media bin. Then I can click and drag it over my set of clips or sequence that I want to apply effects onto. So now I'm going to take that tint effect and add it onto the adjustment layer. Now the tint effect is very simple. If you're familiar with gradient maps in Photoshop, it's very similar to that. So you can map the black and the white colors to different colors. So by default, it maps black to black and white to white, and it gives you this black and white look. But if you want to create cool, colorful effects, you can map the black to different colors. So like, let's map the black to a dark green, and then let's map the white to a bright yellow. The only other parameter you can adjust is the amount to tint. So this is 100%. You can fade the effect and make it more like 30 or 40 percent. So doing that can give you some quick color grading possibilities, give you some vintage color, cinematic color, you can combine it with other things. Also, since we're on an adjustment layer, we have the added flexibility of being able to adjust the blending mode of the entire adjustment layer. So I can take it from normal and set it to something like multiply, and then lower the opacity of the whole adjustment layer to also get a different type of vibe, or I can play around with things like overlay, soft light, screen, anything like that. Make sure your keyframe animations are toggled off if you don't want the effect to transition up or down in opacity, but you could also do bursts of color as well. So here's one quick effect we can do with the tint. We can map the black to be black, and then let's map the white to be any color to get a solid colored tint. So here's a yellow colored lens, but one that you might commonly see is this bright red colored lens. I'll demonstrate a quick burst of red effect using keyframes with you guys. So if we take the opacity, we turn keyframes back on, and this is the opacity of the overall adjustment layer. Then we set it to zero at the start of the clip. Then we move forward in the clip, and we set it to 100. And then we move a little bit more forward, and we set it to zero yet again. So if we play that back from the beginning, we should see a quick flash of red or red color. So that could be a pretty cool effect. You could use it in your projects. But that's basically all there is to the tint effect and a couple creative ways to use it in your projects or videos. If you guys like this video, definitely check out some of my other Premiere Pro tutorials I have in a playlist. And if you guys want to see all types of new creative related videos from me on photo, video, tech, social media, all that, then definitely subscribe to my channel down below if you're not. And make sure you go follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you're on there to stay connected. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.